Okay, so today we're going to create a virtual machine using Workstation, VMware Workstation, and we're going to be creating a backpack install. So we're just going to use the recommended settings. Uh, we're going to select where the ISO image is. We're going to select Linux. And we're going to put it under Ubuntu. Now mine's 64 bit, so. And I'm going to call it Backtray. Okay. And I'm going to change the directory. Okay. I'm just going to, in this video, keep it as a 20 gig. Um, and I'm going to split the virtual disk into multiple files and we're going to go OK now we're just going to edit it and I'm just going to give it 4 gigs of RAM and remove the floppy piece hang on here we go OK so now we're going to start the virtual machine Now at this screen here you just push enter, uh, it will bring you up to this screen and then just enter again. Okay, now we're going to start the GUI interface, so we're going to write start x. So we go enter. Okay, so this is the basic load up screen. Um, now we're going to right click and go open on install backtrack. I'm going to stick with English, because so that's the only language I know. Of course, I'm in little old New Zealand, so... Stick with the US keyboard layout. Now, I'm just going to erase and use the entire disk because there's no operating system on it. So we're just going to go next. And we're going to go install. Now this is going to probably take a little bit of time. So I'm going to pause the video here and get back to the part where it's installed. Okay. So... We're just going to restart the machine. It's fully installed. And we're just going to push enter and it's going to restart. Stupid thing. And there we go. So we'll go out. And tour. T O O R.
and now we're going to start X and that will launch the GUI and there we have it backtrack fully installed in your virtual machine there's a few things I usually like to do um, first things first let's just make this a little bit bigger okay so password or pass wd root and we're just going to enter a new password So now every time I log on, there's a completely different password that I've chosen. Um, I'm also going to go apt get install synaptic and hopefully I'm going to go yes or why now this actually just installs the synaptic manager for doing updates uh, or installations a lot of people just aren't used to a um, a terminal interface so does take a little bit of time but it is well worth it and there we go so now if we go system administration we have synoptic package manager um, and we just go close and there we have it so, that way you can just go through all your different miscellaneous tools um, and install them or, you know, there's just so many uh, um, different things there you can add your different repositories so here we go so that's basically the install um, of course the other one oh, here we go is apt get install and we're going to go GTK record my disk top okay so now we've actually just installed record my desktop now there is in fact a, um, a command line interface for it but I mean, the GUI is there if you want it so there we go that's basically backtrack installed VMware I hope you like the tutorial